Welcome to Wheelock. Let's pretend we didn't notice, because today we'll see even more unexpected things on the road. You won't be sorry if you stick with it until the end. Let's get it on! A train has collided with a truck in downtown Tucson, Arizona. No one got hurt. Never stop your car on a train track, not even briefly. What a scary movie. Pray that the driver is all right. When they got past the traffic jam and the road opened up, this guy took off and his tire came off the rim. Oh, oh. Happened in There were no of injuries. Dude. Six. I have been hyper aware of things in my car, especially large luggage. And you too. Oh, at this point, I immediately realize the importance of the gear. He is fine. He's fine. Luckily, nobody was inside the vehicle. Stay safe out there, mate. Who is to blame? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. This occurred on East Circle Drive in New York. Really impressive skills right here. The driver deserves this car. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. A man was taken into custody after a high-speed chase in Cleveland County. Good takedown, that was quick, smooth, and nobody got hurt. Great job! This took place in Watertown, New York. Always come to a complete stop at the stop sign, dude. This is a problematic intersection. It is in Weinfern Drive, Don Valley Parkway, North Ramp, Canada. Thankfully, they have insurance, so his damages will be covered. Well, he may not have realized it wasn't a four-way stop with the construction going on. This happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hmm, they were nice enough to pull him out with a chain. He was driving a Tesla Model Y, so he had cameras from four angles. This should be helpful when it comes to assigning fault. Whoops, stay alert you guys. Who do you think is at fault? Tesla was traveling near the speed limit. The Dodge driver pulled out onto the road, taking up both lanes. Turn your head and look over your shoulder to perform a visual check of the area around your vehicle. Ah, oh, dear. 
I'd like to see what the intersection looks like in the daylight. That tree is awfully close to turn path. Hopefully that driver's okay. It was on a Brooklyn Queens Expressway in New York. Pay attention, man. Oh my god. Always inspect the cargo before departure to ensure that it is properly loaded, balanced, and secured, guys. That is 100% against the other driver. He was worried about the traffic behind him and thought he saw an opening and went for getting the rest of traffic in front of him. Before entering the intersection, check for pedestrians and other vehicles, everyone. Whoops, when you get instant karma. Things happen in Charlotte, Carolina. <laughs> if someone is driving poorly, either way they're inexperienced or distracted, give them a wide berth. Whoops, truck driver needs to go back to truck driver school. Ugh, the truck didn't have the parking pass, so it was backing up out of the entrance without looking where he was going. A white BMW going northbound on Nichols Road, turning left on a cliff road, at a slow speed, and then went out into the median. Gladly, this guy called 911. What? I had to watch this 10 times to tell what was happening. Be careful, mate. Stay away from trucks, folks. Let's overtake if you can. No! Practice reversing maneuvers in an empty parking lot to improve your skills and confidence. Dude, stop doing this! In general, not just when I'm hauling a load, I don't like using major highways for short trips. When taking a local road, it might take me two minutes longer. That's not your lane, sir. Well, bro gave himself a pit maneuver. Glad no innocent people were hurt. Oh my, that is so scary. Fortunately, no one was injured. Although it appears that the Hyundai has entered the lane, I believe that truck drivers should check their blind spots. No way, seems the SUV was stolen.
Everyone is okay. Attempt not to run a red light, dude. Patience and patience. No way. Van driver tried to cut this car off? Don't do that, bro. Ugh, it must have been the work of a rookie truck driver. Be careful, man. Whoops, in this case, who's going to pay the insurance? It's good that all of them are fine. Ugh, I know the frustration of biking in the snow. Look how look how deep this is. Look. Look how deep this is. Luckily, he is okay. <laughs> See, if I was on the KTM now... <laughs> I love when people help them. Respect. Well done, bro. He tried to avoid the collision until the end. Whoops, this means that even with a green light, you still need to be aware of your surroundings. Glad this dash cam owner did send this to the local police so they could use it or send it to the people's insurance. Uh, 
Oh, oh, no. Driving pretty fast and doesn't appear to see that the car or even attempt to brake. Look over your shoulder, man. This is the reason why rearview mirrors were invented. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with number one. This happened in a town near London. How lucky are they? Tricky turn when you were doing double the speed limit. Glad there were no collisions. to blame here, you decide. Whoops, I'm getting a dash cam after seeing this crap. Hope they are able to get the license plate. Don't drink and drive, man. This driver was the victim of a speeding car running a red light. Don't beat the red light. This is what happens when you go above the speed limit. This happened in the west on Riley Road in Texas. The driver exited the vehicle and called the railroad with a number listed on the crossing. That is when he spotted the southbound train. This was in Mexico in what happens to be called the SSA terminal. Everyone is okay. It's time to revoke their license. Stay safe out there, folks. What a nightmare. This dash cam owner is so lucky. This crossing is located on the US 77 in Marysville, Kansas. An overloaded truck struck a railroad crossing signal. Glad the driver's all right. Was able to get up. The best result in this situation. They are okay. at fault in this case? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. It's good that it didn't hit the windshield. Staying calm is the most important thing to do in this kind of situation. Be careful, folks. You okay? Hey mate, set a positive example by consistently clearing ice and snow from your vehicle before driving. Uh, 
Ah, I wonder to myself, why is everyone going faster? Stay safe out there, guys. No, man, what are you doing? In this case, the two parties involved are able to come to an agreement without involving any other parties. Absolutely fantastic. Oh no, wait your turn in line, bro. Two neighbors backing out of their driveway smack into each other in Stona, Massachusetts. Luckily, a police officer was waiting at the light. Well, glad there were no collisions. The honk didn't even phase him either. No way, he used a cedar to clear several hundreds of meters of the road signposts. I can't believe you people find this confusing. Please read the giant arrows on the ground. Well, Betty could have crushed a diamond between your foot and the brake pedal. Has claimed another truck from an unwitting driver. The East Main Bridge in Enid, Oklahoma stands at a height of just 11 feet 4 inches. Always make sure your mats are clipped into place or they will get caught on the accelerator. No way! Why would you drive through this without putting it in four-wheel drive? No excuses. I honestly can't believe how smooth it is driving without a tire at highway speeds. This motorcyclist comes across a bit of a surprise while cruising along Lake Takapo in New Zealand. Can anyone explain why this car is coming right at him in the wrong lane? A driver slams into a Christmas tree that somehow wound up on the highway. Everyone, Christmas approaches, wishing you a safe and joyful Christmas on the roads. At least they didn't let it go for an hour or more. Good job, officers. No, man, it's not just about breaking the rules. It's about putting yourself and others in harm's way. This driver turned right into a 25 mile per hour school zone. I wish the cop were out here enforcing the school zone every morning. Are you kidding me? Everyone had so many more opportunities to stop. Not cool. Let's all be responsible and keep our belongings in check. Oh no, when your tire tread meter is at 0%. Someone wasn't paying attention to the signal or was confused. Glad everyone is okay. Whoa, that was unexpected. Glad there were no pedestrians on the sidewalk. Glad everyone is okay. Oh dear, do you see the wheels striking anything on the road? Oh. 
whoops, a rental truck turned right from Peabody Street only to get chewed up by the can opener. Oh my, I wonder what caused the truck driver to lose control. That's the kind of skid you never want to experience. Winter tires, folks, invest in them. A bus spun out of control on an icy road when winter conditions gripped. None of the passengers on board the bus were injured. It sounds like a sudden flip in the daily drive narrative. One man tried everything he could to prevent this vehicle from being towed. And now he's gonna fix his truck, the tow truck, and pay the ticket. It's recording now. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Do you agree that there are lots of people on the road with no sense of self-preservation? Well, this is an example of how important it is to use caution when changing lanes. It's a pity that the illegally parked vehicle wasn't towed away. Some very lucky people just got missed by a full sheets of drywall. Hey man, overloading anything pushes it past its limits. Oops, a drunk person drove a pickup truck into someone's swimming pool. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment. Glad everyone is okay. Also, don't ever take that tire off. Seems to be very, very safe. When driving at high speed, you should try to avoid side by side, so as to have room to react. A car dash cam video showed a small plane landing on Interstate 580 in San Leandro, California. It seems like the bus's brake system was broken. Let's turn this into a lesson on the importance of staying alert behind the wheel. The parked vehicle was parked illegally. Anyway, the driver was still in the wrong. Whoops! That is when you get the driver's license from clicks, like Walmart. No, that black car's move was a recipe for an incident. Driving like you're in a Fast and Furious movie might look cool in your head not on the road. I don't know guys, but I'm very sure this car is stolen. It seems that some people don't know that the train cannot stop immediately. The hand signal is superfluous. Well, it seems like most trees are at risk of falling. Ow! Oh my god, dude! Ow! Wishing everyone safe driving and a Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, this white car decides it's time for a surprise lane change. The motorcyclist probably had a mini heart attack. Don't jerk the steering wheel. This makes you so nervous that you lose control.
Keep your eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, and mind in the driver's seat, folks. No way, the driver of the white car brakes instead of changing lanes. We hope that many of you will learn from this case and not rush in in such a case. Oh, the tire deviated and the tire was still suspended for a while. But during the thrilling process, the entire car pulled the lever to return to the straight position. The white car looks like me, who was stunned on the spot after being slapped by my girlfriend. Maybe the black car was blocking both of their views. I'm guessing he was looking over his shoulder to check the blind spot at the same time the white car hits his brakes. He was definitely riding way too close. That tire's just gonna go here in a minute. And there's the pit. And it was unsuccessful. Yes, he is. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for all you do, cops. They're gonna block him in. Block him in. Block him in. Block him in. An innocent car. Drive safe, folks, and keep an eye out for unexpected flying objects on the road. If you dare to drive so fast when you see stagnant water, a water drift will be something you will never forget. Who is at fault? Let me know in the comments below. Well, it's a Chrysler, so it was probably already on its way to the shop. Oh my, it's the first time I've seen such an incident. An unpredictable journey. Vigilance on the road, folks. It is the guardian angel. Oops, perhaps he thought the front of the car was straight, so we accelerated. Brake slowly and steadily, giving your tires a chance to grip without a dramatic spin. Well, these drivers are far too common these days. Embrace the three-second rule, your ticket to a safer journey on the asphalt stage. Even inanimate objects have a risk, so stay vigilant on the road, folks. Hmm, looked like he came to a stop to let the truck cross, then just let off the brake and drove right into the rear of the trailer tire. Really? He did all this with the utmost naturalist? Hope you never do, under any circumstances. It's funny that his impatience made the wait almost exactly twice as long. Stay safe out there, drivers. You never know when the furniture might decide to take flight. A BMW loses control during mountain track racing. It's a reminder that even the most powerful machines bow to the unpredictable curve.
Oops, that will be an $800 towing bill. This driver kept a good distance between the cars and saw the car coming from the right lane cutting in slightly. So he avoided this incident. That car went full throttle and decided the back of a bus was the perfect pit stop. Oh, looks like someone just got his driver's license and drives his dad's car. What? Driver was being rather cavalier about it. Oh my, so scary. A ready mix concrete truck accidentally lost control and overturned while turning left. The driver was not drunk, it was a mechanical failure. Everyone, invest in GPS systems or apps specifically designed for trucks. I never thought that I should practice reversing, only accelerate and press the accelerator. Perhaps I will consider this issue. Who issued this guy's driver's license? We must talk. I feel like I see this daily in California. It's like, I did you a favor and this is how you repay me? If there's another vehicle behind it, it definitely is a different story. If you're carrying a load, check the capacity of your vehicle. Ugh, what is he trying to do? So, there was a collision or not? On a highway in Russia, a driver forgot to lower the body of a dump truck and destroyed an overhead pedestrian crossing. Glad everyone's okay. Oh dear, what was the driver thinking? At least this driver didn't ruin his Thanksgiving day. Drive carefully, folks, for a Merry Christmas. Wow, he nearly did an attack on that other car. You would have seen a lot of teardrops. Before entering an intersection, look both ways for cross traffic, even if you had the right of way. And this is the same case. He was saved by following at a safe distance. The three second rule is never outdated. Turn your headlights on when it starts to get dark, man. Oops, that's what they call Chevy Tough with Chevy Stuff. <laughs> this is what happens when we find no heavyweight signs everywhere, when it's useless. <laughs> Every turn is a chance to showcase your driving finesse. Approach them with caution. It's such a coincidence that this was recorded. It's lucky that no one was injured. Truck, aren't you going to stop at a red light?
I've watched this video like 30 times and still confused as to what he was trying to do. I was driving well, why did you kiss me? This bridge continues to amaze me. There are more warnings and flashing lights, yet people continue to ignore it. What caused this incident? Texting or external distraction? Hmm, they break very slowly in the beginning. Then, when they realized they were getting too close, they slammed, but clearly couldn't stop quick enough. Hmm, I only know that I can't use the accelerator to brake. If you observe a driver engaging in reckless lane changes, consider reporting it to local law enforcement. This is the moment cops pursue a stolen vehicle in downtown Los Angeles. By the way, one of the best pit maneuvers I've ever seen. Oops, now we need an ambulance for the ambulance. Everyone sees it, right? A red vehicle bullies cars getting off the freeway. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video!